gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel and thank you for all your support you have been showing me over the time period. So, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you to my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and my subscribers who think they want to come on aboard. Come on aboard, come on aboard. It's a family affair. Come on in this house and let's talk about some subjects, okay? All right. Like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel as usual. Happy Sunday, everyone. I don't know when you're watching this video. It's in the afternoon hours here in the ATL. So I'm going to say good good afternoon to you. Okay, but we're going to change gears. We're going to uh, shift down into um, neutral. And we're going to roll with Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, Princess Portia is coming on the tube, the social media. And she's letting us know that it's a snake in the garden of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they must be banished or at least brought out into fruition of who they are and how they get down. Yes, honey, we're over at Atlanta Black Star. They're breaking out these stories with my girl Kirsten Willis showing out as usual. And uh, she's given us a magnificent article to follow and talk about. It is titled, Ooh, the Shade. Yes, Portia Williams refuses to let it rest over this alleged snake in the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. All right. We're going straight into the article. Uh, her uh, stance, Portia stance is real friends. She's trying to call out who the fake friends are versus the real friends. And we know... She tried to be as normal of a person with all of her cast members. But when she got to put hands on folks or she got to set people straight, you know, Portia ain't from the hood. But she act like she was born in the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how Portia was running. I don't know what Miss Di Diane was missing over there. Or maybe it just come naturally in her family. Because you got old Hosey Williams, you know, the civil rights leader. He was nothing about them hands, but if they put hands on him, he was going to definitely damn defend himself, okay? So, yeah, she's from a civil rights fighting family, so you can't help but think that Portia will come out swinging if <laughs> she had to verbally or with them hands. So, she get it honestly. But getting into the article, uh, Portia Williams is basically testing her friendships for the cast members, and she might be throwing a little shade at her off-screen friends as well, Okay. It goes in to say Portia Williams won't back down after fallout with Eva Marcel. Okay, Portia, okay. We see you going, but how fast are you going to not break down? Okay, tell me what you're going to do, honey. Because, you know, Eva ain't about that life. Eva ain't finna fight. She ain't finna do nothing of a sort. But, you know, cater to what she feels she need to cater to. And that's pretty much it. Okay, but we like Portia. <laughs> we know what you did to Kenya. Keep your hands off, Eva, okay? You already went to anger management. Well, let's get on into the story. It says Portia Williams is doing her best to stay positive as she's not only recovers from surgery, but also recovers from a blow from one of her Real Housewives of Atlanta co stars. Now, if you haven't been on Portia Media's social media feed, I think it's Instagram, she had foot surgery. Don't know if she stomped her toe. Uh, she, I think they said something about she broke her ankle or sprained her ankle and she was getting it reset or something. But, yep, she's twirling around in a wheelchair. She's kind of disabled at this time, but she's still having a lot of laughter, having a lot of positive, um, you know, thoughts around her and, and her energy is positive. But she ain't forgot about that snub that Eva Marcel called herself throwing at her and didn't think she was going to pick it up and run back with it. Okay. <clears throat> we go into the article. It says Williams posted a playful photo to her Instagram page on Friday. Yeah, see what I said? Of her having a good time with friend of the show, Tanya Sams. Okay. If you go to her Instagram account, I'm sure you can check that out. But the article continues. Kicking it with my boo today. It's Tanya time. Thank you for putting together my scooter. Uh, and she gives some heart emojis, lip emojis, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Williams got some help from Sam as she continues to recover from extensive foot surgery, which the new mom has yet to disclose the reason for. Yet embedded in the cheery photo caption was a hashtag that may call out Eva Marcel's hashtag real friends. Earlier this week, Williams took 
to Instagram to respond to a clip from an upcoming Real Housewives of Atlanta episode in which Marcel says Williams has enough bull-ish going on in her life when it comes to rumors of Dennis McKinley cheating on Williams. I can forward her a lot of these blogs so she can mind that business. Uh, Marcel says after learning Williams shares the model's business with Kenya Moore, Portia might want to stay all the way out or stay all the way up out of my business. She still got her C-section healing. Williams shared and later deleted the uh, footage on her Instagram account with the caption, I'm going to leave this right here. Y'all don't forget this clip. Better yet, don't worry, I'll repost later. Is the answer slide one or slide number two? Shade or no shade. Hashtag stay tuned for the other issue with first clip. Okay. Um, then if you go to uh, Portia's. Okay. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. Okay. This says the mother of Pillar Johanna didn't stop there either. She also posted a mini me or Mimi that read, we never lose friends. We simply learn who the real ones are. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. With that in mind, fans reacted to what they perceived as another dose of shade towards Marcel. Another commenter wrote, ooh, the shade, but y'all are beautiful. And another commenter, <coughs> commenter said, the shade is that hashtag real friend. Uh, another commenter said, oops, the hashtag, but I love y'all. Witten's post come a week after Marcel's devotion to Too Fab. That someone is responsible for a betrayal among the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. There's definitely a snake in the group. And a lot of this season, you, you'll see us trying to figure out who the snake is, she said. And it's like some unassuming and kind of catches you off guard. Literally, no one expected it at some point. You'll find out who it is, but you couldn't guess it. Um, they just created so much discord between the girls and different relationships and friendships were severely, severely, I'm sorry, fractured with this snake. And I'm like, girl, honey, even hell, it might be you. I was thinking it was a strong Cynthia, but you going here and there. But then I think about it. Now, nah, too many people don't like filming with you. So you usually get filming time with Cynthia or Candy uh, and maybe Kenya. But it don't seem like Kenya going to be uh, wanting you to be around her too much more either. So I guess, uh, I, I don't know. It, it seems like Cynthia, I'm still going to stay there. Uh, I might change my mind a little further on down the road. But I'm still going to go with Cynthia. But it seems like Eva may be a little dishing. And Portia may be doing a little dishing too. But you see, Portia's pretty much cool with everybody. So, I'm still going to say Cynthia for now. But, uh, I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to keep watching. Because we ain't getting too much playtime with Tanya Sands. And she's a friend of a friend. It's not Shamia Moore because she's a friend of a friend. We definitely know it ain't Shamari DeVoe because she ain't taped none <laughs> in season 13. Although she says she relinquished her rights to be on the show. But other people in social media said she got fired. Okay. Or demoted to friend status. But she didn't feel like she wanted to partake if she couldn't be a regular peach holding person. Okay. But that's all I had on this video with Paul. She do try to make it cute, sweet, and short. Okay. Quick, quick, sweet, and short. All right, with a little splash of drama mixed in. But that was my Princess Portia um, commentary on what she was doing for if she's still coming for um, Marcel, Evil Marcel, they call her, next top model winner, and all that jazz on, what do you call it, Ricky Smiley show. But she still can't show out when it comes to being put towards uh, battling it out with any other girls and i'm like she already don't want to mess with nene leaks don't nobody really want to mess with nene leaks don't nobody want to mess with kenya more because they do bring the strong juices the strong drama okay and we'll tell you what from your head to the sole of your feet but Portia, she about that life she be ready to put hands on her sister <laughs> or brother it just depends but it's just amazing how Portia can solidify herself in each um circle of her friends she has friendships with her fiance boyfriend whoever you want to call them she has good friendships with cynthia candy um poor well not i'm talking about portia cynthia candy and eva to this point 
where she's trying to rectify some things. And she definitely float between Nene here and there. She's just a lovable spirit. You can't help but love her. You know, she kind of absent-minded at times, you know, but we give it to her because she's younger. She's, I think she is the youngest one out of all of them. And, you know, she's definitely holding her own, becoming a homeowner at a young age, uh, becoming a, a, a radio personality as well as a reality star personality. And she's trying to settle down with one man. You know, she ain't out there trying to run the streets like she once was, dating in and everybody, or prestige, or in the, uh, what do you call it, the professional athletic field. You know, she don't have all that long. She just wants a, a, a couple of more children. Uh, I guess with Dennis McKinley, because she seems like she's going to dress him up, make him over, and, and, and deal with his uh, finessing ways of other women. But hopefully that'll get better for them, too. Um, I still see him as an opportunist. Uh, They're going to have to play more up to me to meet the, the side different. But right now, that's how he still will remain. I'm team Portia. I'm team Nene. I'm team Kenya. I'm team Candy. I'm team Cynthia. And team Eva Marcel. I love them all. But when I have to call them spades, I have to call them out on their shit. And I'm going to do it. That's just what a real mama OG does. Okay? Love all her children. Okay? But when they they doing foul things and they ain't playing right in the playground field, we got to get them straight. Okay? At least if we just give our opinion, that's enough. That's just like a little hand clap to the back of their head. You know what I'm saying? You know how you hit your kids. But you don't mean to hurt them. But you like, don't do that no more. Okay? Or oh, I noticed that shit. Don't do that no more. That's a black mama talking. Okay? Y'all get into it. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. You know, is Portia doing the right thing? <laughs> I mean, she got a little broke foot, a surgical broke foot at this time, uh, trying to reset itself and heal and mend. She need to stop doing that because evil might pop off and stop outside the head. I don't know. Then what Portia going to do? Oh, she on some heavy antibiotics and some heavy pain medicine. A Portia going to be one to pounce. All right, and we don't want them up there acting crazy. We don't want them. We want them to be classy, not trashy, classy, not uh, being ghettoish. Okay, no, leave that stuff in the back burner. Okay, leave it in the back of your minds. Leave it in the back of your life. Keep moving forward. Okay, even though it might be in your mind to go put them hands on somebody, but that's that. Uh -uh, that's a litigation. That's a law. That's jail time. That's bail money that we don't even have or want to have to be coming out of our bank accounts. Okay. We want to be fun. We want to have fun. We have pleasure. We want everything for the positivity. We don't want to have that for the negative. It have to be drawing our money to get us out of bad situations that if we thought before we reacted, we could have still had that money in the bank. Okay? But y'all be good to each other, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.